Hello and welcome back to another episode of The Web Guys. Um, last time we started off on introducing uh, dial plans and so on. Mm -hmm. um, and what we're going to do today is we're going to go a little bit deeper. So, dial plans, part two. <laughs> <laughs> we try uh, to ring a telephone. <laughs> okay, fair enough. So. Okay, then what did we last time? Mm -hmm. We um, explained the dial plan yep. and we did um, use the asterisk CLI and we saw that if we do something, mm -hmm. then something happens on the yep. asterisk CLI and we mm -hmm. tried to understand the concept of dial plans, context, exactly. and yeah. how it works. Mm -hmm. So we um, go to another application now okay. and try really to dial something. Fair enough. This is the output of our last um, video. So here you can uh, see it again, first line, second line, yep. and then the hang up. Those mm -hmm. are the three commands out of my easy dial plan. Yep. So that's good to understand something, but it does nothing, so it's boring. Mm -hmm. So I try to introduce a new application. What is an application? If you go again to the extension, this, the third one, is called an application. So okay. this is the application no op, mm -hmm. this is the application hang up. Yep. So this is very good, but how do I know which applications are available? Mm -hmm. So this is the first trick, how can I um, find that out? I'm not sure if it's core or dial plan. No, I think it's core. They're changing it <laughs> very often. Show application. What you can do here, you can get a list of all the available applications. You can say sh core show application. If you use the S, then you can see all of them. All of them. That's very handy. There are many applications mm -hmm. which asterisk can do, but there are some handy features. You can say show applications like, and maybe I want to dial something, mm -hmm. and I can say show applications like dial. And then I can see there is a dial and a redial application which I can use. Cool. If this is not enough, then I can say not only like, but describing. Okay. And then I can also search in the description of uh -huh. uh, the applications. Again for dial. And then I can see there are more applications, applications which are, which, which have something to do with dial. Okay. Yeah. That's because it's an PBX, so yeah. there are many <laughs> applications quite a few, I should imagine, yeah. where you can dial something. Mm -hmm. um, this is very cool because you can search um, for all the applications. Then, if you picked out one of them, or, uh, and you say this is the application I want to use, then mm -hmm. you can say core show application. And then you can um, just enter the application you really want to use, in our case, dial. And then you get a long description. This description is very long because dial is one of the most important applications you can imagine. Yeah, um, for a phone system I can imagine. Yeah, it's that's yeah. true. So <laughs> it's really long. So don't be shocked. <laughs> this is the dial application. And um, you have a, a description, the parameters, how you can use it, you say dial, technology, resource, and technology, resource, blah, 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 timeout, mm -hmm. options, and so on. What is very important here? Um, this is exactly the description for the dial uh, application in your version of asterisk. Okay. Sometimes it's hard because asterisk is um, expanding very fast, yeah. mm -hmm. functionality is growing, mm -hmm. and then you're not sure in my version of asterisk, is that application available or not? Uh -huh. Or is this application feature available or not? Uh -huh. And if you go there, you can be sure because yep. this is compiled out of the source code that um, the documentation is. Okay, from really your version suitable. of Asterix. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is a good starting point to find out which applications are available. Yeah. So we go back to the most important um, application dial. And we just try it out. So we make a new line here. And we say x10, 100, third. And now we really want to dial. Mm -hmm. Now you can see the mess. I have to delete that line. 
and type it in again. Mm -hmm. So you can imagine there is a better way to do this. Yep. But for our tutorial, for our first tutorial, we do it like this. And now um, we learned out of um, the documentation mm -hmm. that we have to provide the technology and the resource we yep, want to call. True, yeah. mm -hmm. So the technology is SIP because we registered everything with SIP. Yep. And the resource is the name of the peer. Okay. So what is the name of your peer? Mine's James, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so we type in James. <laughs> Maybe that's it. So we tell him, print the first line, print the second line, dial James. Okay. And if it's finished, hang up. Uh -huh. We will see. We go back to the asterisk. Now with enough debug information. Yep. Then we say again, dial plan reload. Now we can, because the debug level is higher, mm -hmm. we can also see what um, reloading the dial plan does. Okay. And stuff. In the other case, we would only see the errors. Um, and now I try to call you. It works. Not bad. Now you can see he is in the application dial mm -hmm. and he is in the application dial until the dial is finished. So please just lift, lift up. Yeah. Now we are talking. Now we are in the application dial. I can actually hear. Can you hear me? Mm. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that easy. Um, and now if you, yeah, you can do it. And now you can see here an error. <laughs> 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 now you can uh, see here an error because there is. Um, uh, CDR file he wants to write. Uh -huh. It's not configured. We will do. We will do that next time and explain okay. it. Yeah. And now he will end that call and he will end the dial plan because of the error. Okay. If that mm -hmm. error did not occur, mm -hmm. then you would see also the hang up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What is very important to understand: some applications are just doing something and then it goes to the next application. Yeah. In some applications, you are in the application until okay. it's finished. Right, okay. In the dial application, until you hang up. Yeah. In the voicemail application, until you, um, until you sp uh, spoke your voicemail mm -hmm. and until the voicemail application is finished. Oh, so so okay. this is really important yeah. to understand that mm -hmm. there are um, applications which are very fast. Yeah. And other, others, you stick to the application okay. until the application is finished. Fair enough. So this was our first calls after, I don't know, five tutorials. Uh, six, maybe. Yeah, yeah. six, <laughs> I sure. don't know. Yeah. <laughs> we were able to speak to each other. Finally, we got <laughs> there. Um, so yeah, that was the uh, yeah, dial plans part two. Uh, mm -hmm. Stay tuned for next week when we'll have a bit more, and we'll go a bit more uh, in depth on how we can um, make these dial plans really efficient. And as Matthias said, there'll be a few more shortcuts as well. Mm -hmm. um, so thanks very much for watching. Until next time, um, that's it from us, from the Void guys. See you.